right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. And now, for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who is first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Paul the Irish Dragon Felder. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big body kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Real quick Good leg shot. kick. Just misses with the left hook. Checks the leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Wow, 
that right punch has been a body weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop going. Uh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. He loaded up there on that high kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big ball punch land. Now we'll get back to range. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg. He's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Big shot lands. Let's go. Brian on it. Push, push, push. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Zelda okay, gets hit with a kick. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Let me see that hook now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. That right hand landed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Punch over the top. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Felt his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Misses with that punch. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Whiffs on that offering. Very nice leg kick there by Felton. Nice straight punch. 20 seconds to go in round one. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big kick lands. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next, next round. High Whoa. number of kicks landed Whoa. in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Great shot, great shot. Keep the pressure on. Not there. Oh, continuing to move the body to great effect. Let's focus now. Irish Dragon gets hit with a kick. Head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Just a slip there. Cable in 
punches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, that's a good counter there. The strength punch lands by Lee. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Slips to avoid the right. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. That's a big strike right there. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Unable to land with that punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Some nice back and forth action here. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Nice punch by Felder. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Wow. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Keep throwing again. Do it again. Cover, cover. Missed with that attempt. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Time to let those hands go. Great punch. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big left hook coming as well. Nice land there by Paul Felder. Always one of the more powerful guys in this lightweight division, but he says he really found himself when he made the move to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and aligned with his head coach, Duke Williams. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. Right on the button. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And yet another straight punch landed there by Felder. Paul oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Nice move punch. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward.
and he counters with a left hand. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Iris Dragon gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Right hook to the body. Lee gets caught with that punch. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Felder's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Nice punch there. Lee's uppercut is blocked. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Nice counter left hook. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Beautiful punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice leg kick land. That shot blocked by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Oh! Head kick. I want that takedown. Felder gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful You're leg kicks. Felder with a knee to the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just misses with the jab there. Big punch lands through the middle. Big head kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just out of the range with that right hand. Head kick lands. Nice defense there. Huge block. More than one. More than one. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Phil. He's able to slip the left there. Just out of range with that strike. Score that takedown. That is a punch that's on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was King Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. But this guy has his opponent hurt very badly. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. He can't even, he can barely stand. Got ten, seconds. ten seconds to go in the round. Watch knees to the body. Oh. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there.
We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice strike. Irish Dragon gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Back and forth we go. That strike blocked by Felder. to the jab just out of range. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Let's move that head now. Big kick. Hands higher, hands higher. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. Nice punch lands over the top. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Way to hide that leg kick. Barely missed that right here on the inside. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Body kick is blocked. Two strikes. Right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. That knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Nice. Unable to connect with the right hand there. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power to possess him, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give one. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. Even the other feet right now. Back to the feet. Oh, big punch land. Oh. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. Right on the elbow. Kick there, blocked by Felder. Ooh, what a punch. Felder's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Lee going for the leg kick, he misses. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. Puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. You can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Felder. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the down hand, and you can see how well he throws it. What a tricky head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up. That's the biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Just unable to quite find that range. Come on, keep those hands up. He went high on that. Yeah. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by him. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch there by the Irish Dragon, Paul Felt. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Iris Dragon gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. Nice. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Lee gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Big knee to the body. Oh, nice punch there by Felder. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut. In his oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the oh. Wonder if the offense. Oh, he's out! Oh my goodness! What a fight! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, he laid out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paul, the Irish Dragon Felder.
Marshall, there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly.